Shri Guru Namaha children. Today we are going to start with optics. Optics is the branch of physics which talks about the study of light. Light is a form of energy which enables us to see objects from which it comes. Any object that gives out light is termed as a source of light. Now there are some sources which emits light on their own. Now those objects are called as luminous objects. For example, sun is a luminous object and the lamp is a luminous object. Now whereas a chair or a table, now these objects are termed as non-luminous objects because they do not emit light on their own. So the objects like chair or a table, they do not have light on their own, but still we can see them. It is by the light which they reflect by taking it from a luminous object. So when light falls on an object like a chair or a table, it reflects some of the light towards us. And when this light enter our eyes, we are able to see the chair. So the objects that do not emit light themselves but reflects the light that falls on them are called non-luminous objects. Moon. Moon is an example of non-luminous objects. It reflects the light of the sun. So light is a form of energy that enables us to see the things. Now, many scientists, they have done so many researches on various theories of light. There were many theories that are put forward by so many great scientists. Now, let us start with Sir Isaac Newton. Now, uh, in general, there are two possibilities of propagation of light. One is the light travels in a stream of particles called corpuscles and this will have a finite velocity. The other one is by wave motion, light travels in the form of waves. Now, according to Newton, a source of light emits tiny, massless and perfectly elastic particles called corpuscles. Now, these corpuscles, they travel in straight line. Now, look at this diagram, children. Here, uh, there is a pipe taken and to one side of the pipe you have a candle. The other side you are looking through the other side. Now when the pipe is kept in a straight position, through the other side you are able to see the light. But whereas, look at this diagram. Now the pipe is lightly bent here. Now, when the pipe is lightly bent here, when you look through this side, you will not be able to see the light, which states that light travels in the straight line. Now, many more experiments were conducted and many more phenomena of light were studied. Now, for example, now look at this diagram, children. Now, this is a diagram or this is a phenomenon of light. This phenomenon is nothing but you call it as dispersion. Now, what is dispersion? Now, you should know that white light consists of seven colors in it. Now, this was proved by this phenomenon, by this experiment. Sorry. Now, you allow white light to pass through a glass prism. Now, I have kept a glass prism here. And you allow white light to pass through this glass prism. Now when you allow light to pass through this glass prism, the white light, when it is passing through, according to the wavelength of each color, 
each color splits up. Now here look at this diagram there is a colorful spectrum which is seen here starting from red to violet. So this experiment very well proves that white light is made up of seven colors. Now here also look at this diagram children here there are two prisms. Now one prism is in inverted position. Now again you allow white light to pass through one prism. Now when it comes out, it comes out as seven colors and you allow the seven colors to pass through the second prism which is kept in inverted position and when you keep a screen, you will be able to see a white spot which proves that white light, it has got all the seven colors. Now this is a phenomenon of dispersion. Now there are various other phenomenons. Now here came the scientist named Hygin. He said light travels in the form of waves. Now many phenomena such as interference. The interference is by Young. He was, there was a scientist named Young who proved the interference phenomenon. And he said that light travels in the form of waves. Now here this is a phenomenon of diffraction where you can see light here it is light which is allowed to pass through a slit. There is a small slit here children. Now here you allow light to pass through this slit. Now when it is coming out what happens here you will be able to see um, some uh, fringes here. Now what is happening here is at this point light bends. Now bending of uh, light is nothing but you call it as diffraction. Now all these concepts you will be learning in your higher classes but just to make you understand that light travels in the form of waves I showed you these pictures. Now then came another scientist called Maxwell. Now he was the person who showed that light is an electromagnetic wave. Now this is the electromagnetic spectrum children which consists of electromagnetic waves of different frequency and wavelength. Look at the picture here children. Now you have gamma rays. Now you have x-rays. You have ultraviolet rays. Then after this you have visible light and after that infrared and the last one being radio wave. So this is nothing but an electromagnetic spectrum which consists of uh, electromagnetic waves. Now Maxwell said that light is also an electromagnetic wave. Now this is the range. See here children this is a visible light. Now this visible light alone we are able to see. Now this gamma rays we cannot see and x-rays also we cannot see. UV rays, IR rays, radio waves. Now all these are electromagnetic magnetic waves which we cannot see. But here visible light. Now this wavelength it ranges from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. So this is the visible part of an electromagnetic wave which we call it as light. So Maxwell was a person who said that light is an electromagnetic wave and it is transverse in nature. Then in the year 1905, Albert Einstein, he suggested that light waves consist of small packets of energy called photon. Now this photon was uh, possessing a dual character that is dual in the sense too. Whether we, he proved that light it has a dual character. It behaves as particles as well as waves. So many such theories were put forward by various scientists on the study of light. Now based on all these theories, here are some properties of light. The first property being light is a form of energy. That is the first point. Now we are, it was uh, Albert Einstein who said that light is a form of energy. The second one is light 
travels along a straight line. What is the direction of light? Light travels along a straight line. Now the next point is light does not need any medium for its propagation. Whereas sound waves it requires a medium. Now whatever I am talking you are hearing it. It is due to the presence of air in between which is a medium. Whereas light is concerned it does not require any medium. Light can travel even in vacuum. Okay, so it does not require any medium for its propagation. Propagation means for traveling. The next one is the speed of light. What is the speed of light? Look at the value children. It is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. So light travels very fastly in vacuum or air. But when it is allowed to pass through any medium, the speed of light will be reduced. The maximum speed the light travels here is in air which is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second. Now since we consider light to be in the form of waves also. Now whenever we talk about waves it is characterized by wavelength and also frequency. Whenever you consider a wave, definitely you should talk about wavelength of a wave and frequency of a wave. Now this wavelength and frequency are related by the equation c is equal to nu lambda. c represents the velocity of light, nu represents the frequency and lambda represents the wavelength of light. Next point is different colored light has different wavelength and frequency. I told you white light, it has got all the seven colors in it. VIBGR, I was talking about VIBGR. V, I, B, G, Y, O, R. This is violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, red. Now, in this VIBGR, which color has the least wavelength? That is, Violet. Violet color has the lowest wavelength and the red color light has got the highest wavelength. When the light is incident on the interface between two media, it is partly reflected and partly refracted. So as you all know, light is a form of energy. Now in this chapter we are going to talk about uh, in your lower classes you would have read about the phenomenon of reflection and refraction children. But here we are going to talk about the various other phenomenon of light like scattering and how lenses are used. How what are the types of lenses and how it is used and apart from that we are going to learn about the human eye and also about various optical instruments. Let us continue in the next class children. Go through the notes and learn about the properties of light. Thank you children.